estrogen should you be taking in menopause? And should you be checking labs? So a recent study published in Menopause on December 17th, 2024, sheds light on this topic. In the study, they collected blood serum samples from 1,508 menopausal women on transdermal HRT in the UK. Then they compared their estradiol dose with their estradiol serum levels or blood levels. There was a huge variation in serum levels and many women were not getting enough estrogen despite being on max pharmaceutical doses of estradiol. In fact, one in four women using the highest licensed dose of transdermal estradiol still had subtherapeutic serum estradiol levels. In that study, they determined that less than 200 picomoles per liter was subtherapeutic, meaning too low. This is the same as 57 picograms per ml in the US. The median serum level they found was 355 picomoles per liter, or about 102 picograms per ml in the U.S. The highest levels they found were 2,055 picomoles per liter, or 593 picograms per ml, which is really too high. So where should your estradiol levels be? Although we do see bone benefits with as little as 60 picograms per ml in the U.S., I generally prefer estradiol to be at least 75 for cardiovascular protection. The upper limit I'm looking for is usually around 125 picograms per ml. TLDR, estradiol absorption through the skin, or even when taken orally, is quite variable. You won't know whether you're getting enough or too much unless you check your serum estradiol levels. Now, the major menopause organizations do not recommend testing blood levels, but I think that they should reevaluate their recommendations.